Hi everyone, so the next step in our self-portrait is transferring the image from your printout your printout onto the canvas board. So I've given you all your image. I've printed it by this point. I'll hand it out once I show you this. Um, so I have mine right there and I'll give you the tracing paper which I'm showing. It's carbon paper double-sided. There should be one matte side, one shiny side. You can see I'm showing you the shiny side and it is pretty expensive paper. So, you know, um, don't, don't be ripping it. Um, I don't want you to be creasing, folding it or any, in any type of way because we do reuse them for all classes. So, um, it's like tissue paper quality. So it is a bit fragile. So be really gentle with it. And when you trace, put the shiny side down, like I'm showing you, or else your image will not transfer. This is very important that you have the shiny side down because the shiny side, what makes it shiny is, um, it's coated in graphite, which you can see whenever you make a mark on top of it anywhere, it transfers the graphite from the shiny side of the paper onto the canvas. So you can see kind of marks being made. Um, so anything with your pencil that you trace over it, that's how we'll transfer it. And you're gonna tape it, put it over the canvas, um, tape it down and have your portrait on top and I'll hand out tape which is on the blue cart um, and you can see I have pencil marks over my line divisions and you're going to want to make sure that the carbon paper is underneath it um, and when we trace it we're tracing in terms of color division not in terms of oh like I have let me, let me get like the nose shape or let me get the eye shape or the mouth shape. It's not specifically that, as you can see. I've, <clears throat> I've only gone over where the colors begin and end. So since this is a color in the lines type of assignment where you want to be really accurate, this should take all class if you want to work in next class too. That's totally fine. So see where I have my strands of hair. It's not necessarily your typical shape for a strand of hair, but just focusing on the color. So every single time the color changes, you're gonna get it. And I did my face as you saw already. Now I'm just adding in the details because you are gonna wanna include those and it'll make your portrait full when you have every little detail. And I would recommend, you know, taking your time doing it slowly and accurately because you want it to resemble you ultimately. And I would use a medium to hard pressure when you're chasing because it is the piece of paper and the graphite that you have to go through. And sometimes if the graphite's paper has been used before, um, there's a little less graphite on it. So you might have to apply a little more pressure than you usually would. And again, you can always step back, check your drawing, see that you've gotten every color division in. And when I say all the details, even everything in the background, people sometimes ask me if they're done after they've only done their face and their hair. Um, no, you wanna get all your details. And as you can see, it might not resemble a face, as closely as you think it might, so that's okay. Like I said, we're not tracing features exactly. Um, so it's gonna look a little abstract, but pretty much you're creating your own paint by number that's really personalized. So go ahead and take your time and have fun with it.